Here with Greg Seelinger and Glenn Przbilski, fresh off their win in the ninth CDJ Senior Amateur Four Ball Championship here at Ivanhoe. Gentlemen, you've now successfully defended your title. Give us some thoughts on the uh, win today. Yeah, it was uh, it was a it was a good win. We 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 know it was tough to to defend um, any time, and coming out here, uh, the course was very difficult. And to be honest, we didn't really play our best the few days, the first few days. We we're struggling. Um, seemed like half the time one person was playing a hole by themselves. But today finally came around. We finally made some some putts and some good shots. And uh, really like the venue out here. It's really good. So we're I'm happy. Yeah, it was a treat to play uh, out here at Ivanhoe. Uh, like Greg says, we, we struggled a little bit early on, but uh, we kind of would pick each other up. And uh, we were, were fortunate on this last day, we kind of kind of got into a groove, uh, mainly on that backside. And we knew it was going to be a tough match, uh, Joe and, and George being members here. Uh, so it was just, it was nice to be out on top. Uh, on the going to the front nine first here, you guys go one down on the second, but then win holes four, six, and seven there. How did that kind of help kickstart the, the beginning of the match for you? Well, right off the bat, we thought we were going to be in trouble. It was going to be a long day. Uh, members, you know, they know the greens, and we're like, oh, here we go. You know, we better, you know, do something. And I think we started uh, hitting the ball a little bit closer, and then you know, making some putts, but. You know, we're prepared for, you know, 18 holes today and them rolling in lots of putts and not letting it bother us and just try to, you know, plug ahead. Um, we're, we're grinders and we, we, we just keep trying. So um, I think, and it really did help, you know, coming around. Um, uh, it helps to be up versus down. We've been down a lot coming around the turn. So um, it's good. Yeah, so they gave us a little bit of an opening, I think, on that par three, number four. And we were just trying to get two balls in play, get two balls on the green. That was kind of the main focus, which sounds easy, but it, it wasn't uh, through most of this event. And then, uh, you know, we won a hole, and it's like, okay, we can keep going. And they gave us a couple opportunities. And then I think making the putt on nine when they were given their birdie uh, to keep our, I think we were two up or one up, two up. And then I think we birdied four out of the next five or something on that order. So they, the, the putts were just falling for us yeah. on that backside. So that was really good. Yeah, you mentioned uh, the par five ninth here. He has, George has one there close. And then you drop a, a lengthy putt. Just take us through what you saw on that putt. Uh, it was, I had been overplaying the previous days too much break left to right. So when I, I just lined it up and just played a little bit less, and I was just like, just make a good stroke. And as soon as I hit it, I could see the line was going end over end, and I'm like, well, that's a good stroke if the line is right. And it picked up pace and broke right in, so that was, that was great. You guys went 10 with the par, and the five six again, like you mentioned, the back nine get hot. Uh, Glenn, a lengthy putt there on the par three, the 12th, and then Greg, two birdies there on the end to finish it out. So take us through those last two holes, what worked well for you? What did you see on the greens there? Well, Greg also, he birdied 10. Oh, yeah, that's uh, he, right. He birdied 10. 10. I had it five feet for birdie, but he birdied 10, and I think we birdied uh, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 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 And, and the last two, um, you know, that one, uh, I'm not sure, what the, the, was it 12? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hit a great tee shot, but um, I got something 13, on 13. the green. 13. Got something on mm -hmm. the green. And that putt was just, you know, we both, you know, read it and wow. said, all right, you just have to feed it out there and, you know, let let the break come in. It was, you know, it was lucky that it went in, you know, because it was such a difficult putt. But, you know, at least we picked the right line and the right pace and went in, and that's a bonus. Anytime you make something like that, that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. And then the next one was just two great shots, you know, really close, and then I just had, you know, a three-footer straight in. So those are the kinds you want. You don't want the 25-footer, uh, 8-footer break putt. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned uh, about talking about reads there. We saw a lot of you guys helping each other with reads and shots. Golf is inherently an individual sport, but talk about your friendship and how your teamwork kind of manifested itself this week. So, I mean, I've been playing, boy, probably 40, almost 48 years. And Greg, I don't know how long he's been playing, but ultra competitive probably the last, say, what, five okay. to seven? Five, four, okay. five, yeah. So. And I kind of know his tendencies now since we've been playing the last couple of years. Uh, 
he'll have a tendency to play a little less break. I play a lot more break. I'm able to see a little bit things. So those are the only things I try to pick a line. But ultimately, I say I give him my opinion, and then I just say whatever you feel comfortable. And for the most part, we, we mesh really well with that. Yeah. Yeah, we help each other out because sometimes you just need confirmation or if someone sees something a little bit different. Um, but it's good because it's hard when you're at a course with you and you don't know the break and all week you, you know, you're just missing them by a ball or two and it's just that, you know, it just have to be one or two balls better yeah. on the break and then they go in. Yeah. Uh, you talked about maybe not having your best stuff earlier in the week, but obviously you guys won this event last year. What kind of confidence and maybe what experiences could you take from last year that kind of helped this week? We're always going to be grinding and trying to find out uh, a, a way to, to get the ball in the hole, to try to you know win the hole or whatever. I mean, just, just getting through to qualifying. I mean, I think we were one over through I don't know how many holes. So. I mean, I have confidence in, confidence in, in Greg, and I have confidence in myself. It's just you have to get through it and you have to do it. And uh, we've been able to persevere. The field is, is loaded with very good players. So, I mean, I look through the list and it's like, it's a tough field. It's going to be tough to, to make match play. But, I mean, in the end, we're, we're going to go and we're going to grind, and uh, we got through it. Yeah, like I said, early on, it was tough because not seeing the course that much, but a lot of us were out of the hole and so it was up to the individual and that's where you have to you know really trust and you know they you know you can only do it so many times so we know there's mistakes out there we just okay forget it and then go on but a lot of times both of us were on our own and 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 you just we, we you know made it through yeah yeah looking in uh last year's recap you know you guys mentioned that um it was exciting to win because you didn't know if you were going to do it again how does it feel to kind of climb that mountain once more yeah, it feels really good actually, because the field is is good and and the course was tough. It it's great. Now I think it just gives us confidence. You know, no matter what, you can you know you can you can do it. And 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 it's a long week, right? So you just have to keep. We just got better each day. You know, even though you know we weren't really great the first part, but so when you when you get better, you feel better, and you know you start hitting better shots. Yeah. It helped uh, that Joe took us out Saturday and we played a practice round with him so he was pointing out some of the areas. <laughs> so we used a little of that knowledge today but uh, no, it was, it was great. We, uh, we hit a lot of good shots today and we made some putts that you typically aren't going to make. So 